You know, Hebrew City was founded by early Utah pioneers in 1859. It's primarily a farming community close to Salt Lake City. We think it's unique in nature because of its rural atmosphere. Back in August of 1909, uh, Hebrew City, uh, Midway, and Charleston Town got together and uh, formed Heber Light and Power for the purpose of bringing electricity to the Heber Valley. Since about 1993, the growth in the Heber Valley has doubled. Up until a couple of years ago, our growth rate was running between 4 and 5 percent a year, which is really pretty steep. With the increased growth comes a, an increased demand for, for power, for electricity. This is a new development here. Haven't quite got that built yet, but we have the power to them. Our cheapest energy is the power that you don't use on the peak usage period of the day. So when you go home from work at night and turn on the TV, turn on the stove, fire up the lights, just activate everything in the house to, that you need to be comfortable, that creates a peak on our system. We buy power off the grid. Uh, when those power costs are at a certain point, we use our own CAD engines to generate power. We're not having to pay premium dollar for the, the power we buy. We think Caterpillar plays a, a huge role in that respect. Started with four Caterpillar engines, went up to six, and then we have now a total of eight. The percentage of power they provide, 10.4 megawatts of uh, total generation capability from our CAD engines. Our system peak is about 31 megawatts. So it's a significant uh, amount of our power portfolio. We'll start those engines and run them. They're reliable, they run. We get through the peak periods where we'd be paying quadruple what it costs us to run the engines. This is one of the reasons why, best we can tell, we've only had two increases in power rates in about 70 years. The fact that we can work with the customers to keep their rates down, that's fantastic. I mean, we, we are working directly with the customer to show them this is how you can effectively maintain your equipment. Our relationship with Wheeler, I, I best view as a team effort and a partnership. They support us 24-7. Without Wheeler, we'd have to add additional staff resources to be able to complete the amount of work that we ha would have to do just to keep the machines up and running and available for us when we need them. It's important for us that when we need to fire up our internal generators, they start. Wheeler gives us the backup support for that. But that relationship really helps. Um, we don't have to pay two or, or three mechanics. We can keep one on staff, and then they give us advice and direction. Sometimes they can help us with our problems over the telephone. And I'd like to add that when, when Wheeler fixes something, it stays fixed. They also provide liaison to Caterpillar in that they can expedite parts delivery for us. They can link us into the technical expertise that is available through CAT to uh, solve any problems that we have. You can't predict that things are going to break or not break, and you, you try your best by maintenance to fix them and to keep them running. If a part does break, nine times out of ten, the next day you can have that part. It's a good feeling to know that you have somebody behind your back, that in case you have a problem, they're going to help you fix it.